The latest reporting coming from Senator Cinema, saying she is switching her party affiliation from Democratic to Independent. She says the change is, quote, to give a stronger voice to Arizonans who value lasting solutions over partisan politics. Cinema declares her independence from the broken partisan system in Washington. Lisa, she says she's switching party affiliation, but she won't caucus with the Republicans. Unclear what this means in terms of the balance of votes. Also, though, will she run for re-election? Do you need the party system to back you if you hope to get elected, or can you run effectively as an independent and actually win? In New York City, I'm happy to say. I am Ace dropping by. I'm Marie. Good morning hey. to you. Good morning, guys. Good to have you with us. What do you make of this? Well, I think given the fact that have you seen her work across party lines a lot over the course of the past year especially, I mean... The reason why we don't have, really, the carried interest closing that loophole was because of Senator Cinema. It's not great for the Democrats in the sense that, as the political reporting called it, neat and tidy of the 51 seats, but doesn't look like she's going to be changing how she conducts business on the floor. We also have an independent when it comes to Senator Sanders, and he pretty much always, obviously, votes for the Democrats. But it's a little bit of a blow, right? Because I thought they gained this extra seat. Now she's saying potentially this means she's going to lean a little bit more into some of that uh, Republican caucusing. Am I getting a little carried away here by saying that there has been a huge shift to the center in a way that we haven't seen for years with respect to the midterm elections and with respect to what kind of bipartisan work has gotten done? I think you can point to that depending on the issue. Um, at the moment, we look what we have going to the president's desk, the same-sex marriage bill more than a, two dozen Republicans voted for that in the House. Then we have the defense spending bill. What you have is Democrats had to say, fine, we're going to give into the Republicans and this, what they want is a renegade on the fact that the military has this coronavirus mandate for the troops. You have to get that done. Democrats don't want to do it, but they were, had to do it to get the spending bill done for the defense spending bill. So you have a number of issues where they've had to come to the middle. And Republicans are realizing that because it wasn't the red wave. And the Democrats are realizing that because they still have control of the House going into next year and they still have legislative agenda they want.